Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here at ArborReviews.com, and today I just wanted to show you my DIY server rack that I built for about fifty dollars, minus the servers and equipment like that. I picked this shelf up at Target, like I said, around fifty dollars. Um, it is a five-tier wire shelf with the, uh, the adjustable shelves, so you can um, move these spacers. Um, I call them. You can move them up or down. There's one on each post, and you can put the shelf whatever height you choose um, so you can you can move the shelves up and down I have mine spaced pretty far apart just for there, I mean there's really no reason for it like I could have put the servers super close together but then if I ever needed to get inside and work on it I would have to move the shelf up which with something sitting on it is a pain in the butt to do because you have to move the whole shelf up at one time but the way, uh, the reason I set this up is I had that big table right here where these old computers are. It was right above here. And it just took up too much space, collected too much junk. Um, so with this, I was able to put this, you know, in less than half the space the table took up. And I'm able to store some stuff on it and keep my servers looking kind of cool. It almost, I mean, it looks like legit server rack without, you know, it being a rack. Um, it's not enclosed or anything like that, but that's fine. We have the monitor up here. Now, since it's not a rack, there's nowhere to mount anything. There's no mounting holes on this or anything like that to screw stuff in. So the servers just sit there. Um, this one, the rack mount ears stick out a little bit on the side. The R610 does not have the mount, uh, the rack ears installed, so they don't stick out at all. It's pretty much perfectly lined up with these sides. I have the VGA cable right here for the monitor. That serves all the servers, so it plugs into either one. Um, there also is a Dell PowerEdge 1750 down there on the floor. That's on the floor because I didn't have anywhere to put it on the rack right now, and I don't use that one at all because it's a 32-bit system, so I can't do that much. But I have my, my keyboard right here if I ever need to access the server. Uh, my laptop right there, that's kind of just sitting there. I use that for... Um, the direct card and stuff like that, but I also use it as a regular laptop um, for Windows and stuff like that. But I just put it there just just cause. Uh, printer, which I don't use, a spare power supply on the top there, and an unused airport router. But like I said, we have the HP monitor, which does all the um, all the servers. It's just held up there by some 3M tape on the back because, like I said, there's no holes to mount anything. Um, I was gonna put the a server here and a server here and make the bottom storage and put all the power stuff on top so the wires could run down um, instead of up but now that I think about that that is probably not the best idea because it would there would be wires here where there's you know they don't need to be wires there now um, with everything running up it stops where it needs to stop um, but the power cord for the UPS which is sitting down on the bottom there was not long enough to run it down into the outlet same as with the Ethernet cable for the switch back there you can see the lights on it and I put this just about, you know, face height so you can see the monitor um, when you're standing up. This one's kind of, you know, just under about arm's height, uh, a little lower to work on easily. This is the one I use most. This is the one with the SXI on it. So that's the one I use, like, all the time. Um, that one doesn't have a hard drive or anything in it, so it's kind of just a spare. But it does work. They, they all work. But that is my do-it-yourself server rack if you're looking for just, like, a economical solution to to put your servers on um, you can get a couple of these if you have multiple servers and you can you know put them side by side and have all your servers set up it's, it's you know pretty clean setup but that's my DIY server rack this is Colin with don't forget to comment rate and subscribe down below